Day at the Prime Day. A couple of new packages we got in. I wanted to grab them before I got this truck out here on the road. But today we're actually getting ready to be working on our, our headlights. Headlights we're working on. Good to be in this Cadillac Escalade that we got out here. Now, um, one thing that I am going to replace because I'm pretty sure my last one went out. Let's see if I can get inside this box. It's going to be our ballast. So this is going to be the ballast. And these right here should be our HID headlights. I'm not going to toy around with them too much like that so I get me on the stand right now. Um, we already did replace our ballast in this car right here. If you look at those beat up, beat up plate. But anyway, we already replaced our ballast in this probably about a month ago on one side. Now the other side ballast has just went out. And I also did do my headlights with ice blue headlights. But I'll be honest with you, at night when you're driving around and we're getting ready to hit on this little quick road trip, you can't really see much at a good distance. So we broke them back down to some 4,500Ks and I'm using a 35 watt ballast right here. So I'm gonna use this 35 watt ballast, 4,500 watt, 4,500K headlights. We're gonna show you this real quick, five minutes watt, 10 minutes watt. So when you come over here to the car, I actually got pretty lucky just now. You have one 10 millimeter bolt right there. And you have another 10 millimeter bolt up there. And if you look down in there, you're supposed to have one down in there that actually holds this to the window well. So the last person that did these lights just threw on the top too. And guess what? I'm about to do the same thing. So what we actually wound up doing was just lifting this up because I'm not going to take off my whole front bumper right now. So we got that up and out the way we need it to be. So now that we got everything out, we got our ballast right here ready to go in. I got a T20 torque bit screw that we're getting ready to use to take that ballast out. So I'm going to take that ugly thing out with the T20 torque bit and we're going to go next from there. See if I can hold this real quick and do this for y'all on camera. Once you take those screws out, it's pretty much just pops. When I'm shaking it, I can hear water inside of this right here. So that's another thing I'm going to have to look into on why water is leaking into my headlights. That's the ballast. Now we're just going to open this one right here. Slap this new one in. So now we got our old ballast right there. We got the new ballast in. Put your screws in the same place. That you had them at before. And just go on ahead and screw those back in. Make sure I fix my screwdriver. Again, I'm using a T20 torque bit. You don't want to over tighten these right here, but you want to make sure you get them nice, good and tight so you want to keep it sealed. So again, no water or any debris gets on the inside of this ballast. Sit that down. All right, so after we got that ballast in now, right here, you want to pop this forward and that's where you're actually getting ready to see your headlight. So you can either go from the top right here it down and lift it or you can just push it down and lift it. I'm going to go ahead and take that off 
this is going to be your headlight you're going to turn it counterclockwise so you get the headlight down in there turn it counterclockwise and then go ahead and lift it up a little push tab on the bottom push it in pull that out and then there's your headlight right there my mind shouldn't have blown because I'll be honest with you this headlight is actually only about um probably four months old so for an HID light to blow within four months that's kind of extremely rare but it is what it is that's your headlight out after you get this out right here you want to make sure that you save this ring so what you want to do is this little push clip right here take that off once you push that clip in roll that all the way out like that because you're going to have to put this back onto your new headlight so this is getting ready to be our new headlight right here i'm not going to take this off yet because it's always extremely important before you use these light bulbs right here to never put your fingers actually anywhere on the glass that will guaranteed make the life of the bulb go down and you just really don't want to do that now when you have this clip right here you're going to see if i can zoom in on your two grooves right there on your light and you're going to see the two clips right here this only goes one way or the other way you really can't put these back on wrong so see if i try to put it in right there it's not going to fit i'm trying to see if i can get a good view of it but yeah, it's not, it's not going to fit right there. I'll go ahead and switch over to the other side for you. Flip it that way. Into that groove. Right there. And into that clip. You can see that it automatically fits. Come back around. Brace it. And now your light doesn't move at all. You got a nice, good, secure connection. I'm going to take this off once I put it all the way in there. Now we can go on ahead and take off this shield. Then when you're done, you want to make sure you take your back case, put it back on, put it in, snap that back in, because that should protect it from the elements, any water, or anything getting inside there to your headlight. Once you get your headlight all nice back in there and snug, all in good, you take this, put your bolts back in. So once you get your headlight and all nice, good, and snug, make sure everything is aligned. If you have an issue with your siding and alignment later on, of course, you know where all your knobs and everything else are like that. But, um, yeah, boom, she's back in. New headlight, new ballast. The one thing I should have did before I threw her back in was 100% check to see if it was a headlight issue or if it was a ballast issue or if that was even a problem. So we're getting ready to find out together in a minute. So we just knocked out that uh, driver's side, so we're gonna come over here to the passenger side. And I'll be honest with you, this one's getting ready to be 300% easier because I've already changed this one before. This headlight's already good, but this is a 7500K because I wanted the more ice blue lighting on this. But I already went on ahead in my wheel well. When you go going in here, all you have to really do is pop out one, two plastic grommets or plastic clips and then one seven millimeter bolt, another seven millimeter bolt up here. And then once you take those out, all you gotta do is lift this wheel well up and there's gonna be a last 10 millimeter bolt down there. But I never put those back in because I knew that one day I was gonna have to come out here and do this again. So since I did it that way, all we're gonna have to do now is come over here, 
pop this bolt out. Come over here, take this one out. And we're just gonna lift this girl out right there. I'm gonna have to go ahead and put this down on the camera because I can't do this with one hand. Actually, I just lied to you. So I took one out. You're gonna have to go in here and take out this 10 millimeter bolt, this 10 millimeter bolt right there, and then you're gonna have one more right there. I only took off one, two, three of those plastic clips on the top. We got those right here. We just popped those out just so we are gonna have to pull this one forward just a little bit and that's so we can get to that little clamp that's sitting right down in there so until we can get to that clamp that's right in there we're not going to be able to do it so we're going to go in ahead and knock that out and then we'll be done Now the mechanics, when you see me messing up like that, don't get mad at me. It's my whip. I do what I want to to it. I'm just trying to show you something. Once you got that done right there, I'm trying to see if I can do this with one hand. I'm going to lift this up. And I'm going to pull my bumper back just a little bit. I'm pulling that bumper back a little bit. I'm going to grab this light. Got it that far past. Boom, we just snapped her out. What was that that just fell in there, girls? Dang, the light cover to my top light just popped off. That's what I get for trying to do this with one hand. So that's it, that's light. Let me see if we can put this on the stand right now. So now that we got this out, I'm not going to pull it all the way out because what I'm actually getting ready to do is just change the headlight. Because I know the ballast is bad. I just want my headlight to match the one that I have on the other side. Again, the ones that I had before were 7500K and I'm going back down to 4500K because it does give you more of a brighter output in my personal opinion when you're on the road at night. So that's what I'm going back with on the truck right now. So I'm not going to pull it all the way back out. If you want to, you still can get to your ballast. It is going to be right there. But I'm just going to be going ahead and knocking out that headlight right there. And of course, putting that cover back on. So I had to hit the quick refocus on us. But we got both lights coming out pretty good. I know you can only see but so much with the camera. But we got both lights running. That's both low beams right there. I'm gonna walk over there, see if I can flash the high beam. Step in front of your camera real quick. Oh, I'm gonna mess with my glare. See if I can get us right here. I know I'm probably trying to do too much, but anyway, that's the brights. So we got both low beams and high beams working. The most economical light you can get off of Amazon right now. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and take these out to Vegas. Since now I feel I can see clearly and safely. So out to Vegas, here we go. If 
I gotta ride like that, she gotta ride like that too, it's all good.